everybody and welcome back. I'm Lisa and in this video I am going to talk about how I got rid of my acne. Um, as a teenager I did have acne. I remember I tried proactive, I tried Clinique and none of it worked. By the time I got into my late teens, early 20s, it was pretty much gone minus the occasional blemish here and there or you know around that special time of the month. Um, I would get more. I know TMI, right? Um, but I really didn't suffer with acne too much until probably within the last year, year and a half, maybe two years. And then for some reason, all of a sudden, I started getting really super bad acne all across like my cheeks. So like all over my cheeks, mostly like in through here, my jawline and my neck. Um, sometimes I'd get it up on my forehead or like in between my eyes where my eyebrows, in between my eyebrows. Um, and nothing I was using would get rid of it. I tried. would get rid of it. I tried like um, different cleansers, I tried drugstore, I tried high-end. Um, I assumed that it was probably like cystic or hormonal. Um, I wasn't really sure. I did not go to the dermatologist because nothing they have done before in the past had ever helped. One um, day I think I got on YouTube and I just kind of searched for how to get rid of adult acne. And I came across a couple uh, YouTubers who recommended or had used very similar, if not the same products that got rid of theirs. And um, I decided to give those products a go. So what I was using, like when I would take off my makeup, I would use the wipes that you get from like any kind of makeup wipes, you know, from Neutrogena, Aveeno, um, the higher end ones, and they, got rid of my makeup, but I thought maybe that could be contributing to my acne. Um, so I stopped using those, and one of the first things I did was I switched over to using the makeup eraser. And this is what the makeup eraser looks like. It is a pink cloth. There's nothing to it. You reuse it. Um, and it is $20. You can get it from Sephora, and I know beauty brands, and I'm not sure if Ulta carries it online. I've never seen it in the store, but that doesn't mean they don't carry it. I'm not sure. But, um, like I said, it's $20, so it's not cheap, but you can reuse it. So all you do is you get it wet with water, and then you just start. You just go to town taking all your makeup off. And it does work. It takes everything off, and it even takes off waterproof eye makeup, too. Um, and what I do because, so I use half of it one night, half of it the other, flip it around and half and half, throw it in the washer, wash it with my towels. And I don't use any kind of fabric softener on my towels. So, and I use it the all free and clear. Now Ulta, and I know Sephora, they each carry their own brand, like the Ulta brand or the Sephora brand of something similar to them. And these I had gotten from Ulta. They look the same, um, same concept. They're smaller, but you get two in a package at Ulta for $10. So I have a bunch of these that I tend to use every day. Um, so, you know, one, one, one day, the other side, the other day, throw it in the wash. So these, this is what I use to take off my makeup. I don't use the makeup wipes anymore. I do have them still, but I use them to take off makeup, like maybe my lipstick or um, uh, like swatches on my hand, that type of thing. Um, I do very similar routine in the morning and at night, um, just with slightly different products. So I'll start with the morning. So in the morning, what I do when I get up and I wash my face is the brand, the face wash I use is by Epiance. I don't know how well you can see that because of the light, but it is the Epiance Lytic Gel Cleanser. And it um, is for a combination to oily problem skin and this has been one of my lifesavers. Um, let's see, it's got, I think, willow bark in it. Uh, you can find 
you can go online and Google Effiance and find it. I got all of my products through the Derm Store, through dermstore.com, and um, if you go on Derm Store and you create an account, for you get points for so many dollars spent, and then you can redeem so many points for like, I think it's a thousand points for $10, so it's nice. And then you can also, you can buy on Derm Store, you can buy the product once, or you can save money and do like a subscribe and save and you can choose to have it shipped to you like every one, two or three months. So I do have most of these products on like a subscribe and save. So this is one of them. I get it every three months. Um, anyway, so I use this in the morning, wet my face. I do like three pumps in my hand, lather it up and then I put it all over my face and then rinse. And it makes your skin feel cool when you rinse it off, which is a nice refreshing feel, at least in my opinion it is. Um, so I use this in the morning and then after I'm done with that and I pat dry, I follow it with the Obagi Medical Cleansiderm MD Pore Therapy. Um, and it is the salicylic acid 2% acne treatment toner and it looks like this and it pops open and it has a little pump on the top and this one's almost out. Good thing I have another one ready to go. This also, like when you use it, I put it on a cotton pad and then just go all over my face, um, this also makes your skin feel really like cool and refreshed after you use it. My pores, I do suffer with larger pores, so this has been a good thing, or this helps with that, in my opinion, it does. Then once that's on, um, once I'm done with that, then I use my SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment for aging skin prone to breakouts. So it looks like this. And I talked about this a little bit in my uh, November favorites video. Um, it's just a clear, very thin serum. Oops, I think I missed, I did. Um, I think I got these towel things here. Um, I just put it, it says to put a couple drops on your hand and rub it in basically. But I, I take the dropper and I put a little bit on my cheek on, each, on my cheek, rub it in, and it, and then a little bit on this cheek, rub it in, and a little on my forehead, and that usually does my whole face and my neck. So I do that after I use my toner, and this has 1.5% uh, salicylic acid. Uh, let's see what else, anything else worth mentioning. Um, it comes in, um, it's one ounce. Um, again, dermstore.com. So I use this morning and night. Then after that, depending on what I'm doing that day, if I'm working, if I'm in a hurry to like wash my face, get my stuff on, get my makeup on and out the door, then I will usually do this. I might throw on some moisturizer, which I use the um, Skin Medica Ultra Sheer Moisturizer. It is for oily or combination skin. It is oil free and fragrance free and contains um, antioxidants, vitamin C and E, and helps from free radical damage. And I use this morning and night. Um, but sometimes I'll use this in the morning if I'm in a hurry, sometimes I won't, it just kind of depends. Um, but a lot of times in the morning, that's where I'll stop. Um, hold on, I lied. I will um, definitely, after I put on my blemish and age defense, I will do my under eye cream, which is the SkinCeuticals eye cream. Um, Firming treatment for combating skin damage and puffiness around the eye area. And it looks like this. Again, dermstore.com. I apologize for the light if the light is too bright. I just got my ring light as an early Christmas present from my hubby. And I'm still playing with it. It's very bright. Very bright. Um, but yeah, I just put a little bit of a little dab like that. And it's nice and thick. And it blends out into nothing. I do that underneath both my eyes. I just pat it in all the way up to the sides because I have little bitty crow's feet there. Um, but then I will do that and put my makeup on out the door. So then at night, when I get ready to do my, um, for bed, I will take one of these cloths and I will get it wet with warm water and I will put, um, you know, I'll take all my makeup off and then I will wash my face and I will use the SkinCeuticals LHA Cleansing Gel, Decongesting Cleanser 
with Biomedic LHA technology for oily or problematic skin. Now I got the cleanser, the um, age defense, and the toner from dermstore.com and um, it comes in a trio. Um, it's actually cheaper to do the trio than it is to buy each of these products by themselves. Um, so I will use this at night. And I should say I don't necessarily, I use this one mostly in the morning, this one mostly at night. However, there are times where I do mix it up. Like if I shower in the morning, I'll use this one because I keep it in the shower because I tend to shower at night because of work, so I don't have to get up quite so early. I still get up early, shower, use this. Anyway, you get the point. I just try to, you know, once a day, once a day, however. Um, but my husband has even started using this and he's noticed that his skin has felt better too and looked better. Um, so yeah, same concept, put a little bit. It's a, this stuff a little bit goes a long way. Um, you know, wet face, put it on your hand, a little bit of water, foam, wash, rinse. Once I'm done washing my face with the SkinCeuticals LHA cleanser, I will go in with my LHA solution priming toner with Biomedic LHA technology for oily or problematic skin. And it, this bottle lasts a long time. This is 8.4 ounces and I have had this bottle forever. I've never had to replace it yet. I do have one on um, standby for when this one goes bye-bye, but lasts forever. So it has a little spray nozzle and looks like that. Um, I will take a cotton pad and I'll put like eight pumps onto that and then I'll go all over, all over my face with that. Once that's had a chance to set in, then I will again go back in with my blemish and age defense. And I like to leave a few minutes in between each product so it has time to absorb into skin. Um, so I'll do this and then I'll do my eye cream again. And then I will go um, after that's soaked in for a few minutes, I will use my Epion's Lytic Plus Treatment Retexturizing Lotion. And it looks like this. It comes in a tube, and it is 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces. Um, and this is for combination to oily problem skin. Um, I'm not sure what's all in it, but this, I think, has also been one of the reasons my skin has gotten um, much better. But it just, it's a cream, it's a, it's a fairly thick cream and it looks like that. And I just use a large pea size um, amount and I will put it, I'll dab it on my cheeks, on my forehead, on my chin, and I'll just start rubbing it and then down to my neck. Um, and I'll do that and I like to let this sit for about five minutes before I put my moisturizer on because for some reason if I don't leave it completely set in, this and I put my moisturizer over top of it, it will get kind of like pilly and kind of ball up. I'm not sure why. Sometimes it does, sometimes I do, it doesn't. And the moisturizer um, is very, it's, it's thick, but it's thin. That doesn't make any sense, I know. But it doesn't, it's not runny, but it's a lightweight moisturizer. There's no SPF in this, so if you want to do an SPF, then um, your foundation might have some where you can use um, um, an SPF sunscreen for your face, but you should use the SPF every day. I don't, I'm really bad. So this I usually use as my last step. Now at night, if I'm feeling super dry, I would like, I like to do an overnight mask. And the one I have found that has worked for me and not increased my breakouts is by Julep. Um, it is their night shift sleeping mask mask with power cell complex and after I put all that crap on my face then I go in with this oh, there goes the cap and this is thick I mean it is it is thick but it does help so I'll put that on lastly when I go to bed um, and then right right before I go to bed, then I'll do my Revitalash Eyelash Serum, which is supposed to help your eyelashes grow. Um, I will put those right on. I don't have it with me. I forgot to grab that when I burn all my crap down here. Um, I'll put that along my lash line on my lashes, on both eyes, 
and go to bed. And I will also put on my Philosophy lip balm that I, I talked about both of these in my November favorites um, video. Um, but I'll slather my lips. So that is what I have done that has helped get rid of my acne. Um, I used to love doing face masks. I would do face masks every night of the week. Not the same one, but different ones doing different things. Loved it. That was my 20, 30 minutes of me time. Put my mask on, go sit and read, watch TV, play on my phone, do whatever. But when I bought all this stuff, I stopped doing that. And I switched down to just two masks and only doing them once a week each one. But the first one is the Clinician's Complex. It is their sulfur mask. I'm not really exactly 100% sure what it does, but it definitely helps. But, okay, so it says it's a sulfur mask and it does smell. So if smells get to you, this is not your mask. It doesn't have a horrible, horrible sulfur smell, but you do, it has a trace of it. But I put um, a nice divot in there. Um, I don't really use them too much anymore since my face is cleared up, but um, this is one of them that helped. The other one is the SkinCeuticals Clarifying Clay Mask Deep Pore Cleansing Skin Refining Mask. And it looks like that. And it comes with a little plastic thingy on there to help it dry out. And I definitely put a divot in that. This one, obviously, I tend to use a little bit more. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe the scent. I don't. I'm not really sure. But, um... Yeah, so that is what I have done to help get rid of my acne. Um, this is what works for me. Please remember that what works for me may not work for you. Everybody's skin is different, but these are the products that I use to help get rid of my acne. Um, and like I said, you can find all these products at dermstore.com. I, so I hope you guys find this video helpful, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you will subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.